All right. Small tank, big tank. Uh, don't know if that can focus. Let's see an S there, a B there. It's on the big tank, which is the rear. And she fired right up. And is running off of this tank back here. That's the big tank. That's 100 liters. Or sorry, that's 120 liters. This is the small tank, which is 60 liters. So I have 180 liters of total fuel. That's the auxiliary. Uh, that's the auxiliary tank. Never used to have this thing able to run off of the main tank. Decided it was nice enough today. It was plus two outside or plus one outside. So I decided to drop the fuel tank and repair the uh, cracked fuel line. In fact, uh, I think I still got it on the ground under the camper here somewhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's hop inside where there's a little more light. Or will be when I turn the light on. This was the fuel line on the main tank. It was cracked, sucking air, and not letting the system run off of that one tank. So I had dropped the, uh, I'm gonna close this door. I dropped 25 liters of gas into the tank just so I could put some in there and uh, have it working. That's running off of the main tank, the big tank. Flip the switch over to the small auxiliary tank. It's full of fuel now. I just filled it up the other day. So, this RV now has a 170 liter capacity worth of fuel for road trips. Awesome. So, I just thought I'd toss in a quick little update video of what I was doing. I'm sorry though, I never took any actual footage of dropping the tank and everything. There was, there was really no room under there to do it. And uh, I just I didn't feel like taking the time to set up cameras and, and film it. So just a quick little update video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Want to see more videos, odds and ends, repair, cold starts, such and such. I said you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.